Well, good evening, folks. I got a couple hours to fish this evening. And I've already been catching a lot of crappie. Uh, matter of fact, I've been on a big concentration of fish. They've quit back. So what I'm going to do is change tactics a little bit. I'm going to keep these fish back by using the two pound test line and little bitty jigs, little bitty jigs. I'm letting my jigs try. Let me show you. Let me show you what I have rigged right here. These are just little tiny one inch baits right here and I'm letting them dry. I glued them and they're drying right now. I've got three of them right there. Water's relatively clear so I'm using natural colors. Um, let me go ahead and do this while we have time while they're drying. I like to use this Lucite Super glue, uh, glue. It's gel control. It's a gel. This glue right here holds better than any that I've come across so far. And these are the jig heads I'm using. They're one twenty-eighth of an ounce. And what I do, you can see that they're wrapped with dental floss, which I've shown a lot many a times. I just cut the 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 lead off of the hooks and then i wrap them with de dental floss and that makes a permanent bond you can catch a lot of fish by doing that without tearing up so many jigs well anyway there's my little micro deal right there there's all kinds of different kind of jigs right there but when these dry here in a few minutes i'm going to go ahead and we're going at it we're going to see if we can catch a few few more crappie this this evening they've really slowed up when that happens i just drop down i just a uh, little line um small jigs little bitty ones what you can do when you do that you'll just continue to catch crappie you're changing everything 180 degrees and uh that's all it takes that's about it now, right now, the surface temperature's at 43 degrees. There's a little old bitty bird. Can y'all see him? And I seen a fox squirrel a while ago. I don't know where he went. He was pretty. He was red and white. I wanted to show him. But anyhow, we're going to get right here and see if we can catch a few crappie this evening. Now, I tell you, I'm a loop knot man from way back. But with this two-pound test line, I rarely ever tie a loop knot now some folks do but i want to get, maximize my strength i'm going to tie a trialene knot right here um that's a much stronger knot than a loop knot and on this two pound test line i mean you don't never know i hadn't been catching any real real big crappie but you never know when one to hit that's just a fact about it might run into a school of big fish but uh Yep, trialing knot. Now this is a size eight hook. That's a little bit small for crappie, but I use them a lot. So the thing with an eight hook, size eight hook, is I just take the, grab him right here at the, the bend of the hook and open that gap just a little bit. See, that's just a little bit. That right there not only will improve your hookups, that will hold them crappie. So that eight, size eight hook's big enough. This truser rod that Victor gave me is pricey. Yeah, way out of my price range. But he sent it to me, and I enjoy catching crappie with it because I'm going to show you all the tip on this rod and I have to be very careful with it because I don't want to break it it's a gift look how tiny that is I mean it's not even half the size of a mat stem so I have to be very careful with it I'd hate to break it but we're going to go on up here and see if we can catch a couple crappie there he is First crappie. 
Looks like a white crappie to me, folks. Come on back here. Now, that was a real subtle bite. We just barely got him hooked right there. Now, when you're using a jig this small, this finesseful, and you're barely catching them like that, well, they're not active. That's a little white crappie. We did get him, though. This rod right here is pretty unique, and I'll show you what I mean right here. The Well, I'll just tell you. The flex is from the tip down to around 16 inches, and then you got backbone. So you don't have to have much of a hook set to get a hook in a fish. There's another one. It's perfect. For this. Where are you going, little fella? But he feels like a mule. Y'all can see the rod bend right there. There's a lot of backbone before you get to the tip. So all you have to do is just a kind of a little snapping hook set. That's a black crappie. Going back, boy. So the thing about fishing is, and it don't matter if you're bass fishing or what species you're after, it doesn't matter to me the way I look at it. You want to keep those fish biting. So this is the kind of things that I'll do to continue catching them. And of course, even with these tiny baits, the key um, is to fish very slow. I mean, it's 43 degrees on top right now. That's cold, folks. There's another one. Well, see, I'm not catching no real big ones, but now a big crappie will hit these. I have some videos about that. Matter of fact, they were real slow about biting on Gunnersville because we'd had some bad weather last spring when they was in pre-spawn. And um, I used these little jigs like this and I caught some fish that was two pound or better and a lot of them just because I used this little jig. They didn't want to bite. But they did bite that little jig right there. It wasn't the same jig. It was just a about any of these little small jigs, like the micro jigs work for crappie. It's just a small presentation, and if it's in front of their face, they're gonna get it. They're gonna grab it. There's one. A lot of fish in here, ain't there, folks? Now that's getting to be a little better fish right there now, a little better crappie. Notice how that jig hadn't come untacked. Now, I mean, it's glued. That's a little black one. Let's let him go. There's one. That's a crappie. <laughs> come on in here. That's a white crappie. Right there. Oh, he swallowed that jig. Let's see what we got. My goodness, y'all see that? It's way down in there. Yeah, y'all see where the hook is? Okay, what I'm going to do, we're not going to kill this fish. I'm going to take a pair of pliers. This crappie is well worth saving his life and taking a little time. Well, he ain't even stuck. Barely was pricked. Barely. Lucky fish. We'll take a picture of him swimming off now. He just cold. But he never did. He just barely got pricked. The barb wasn't even buried. He inhaled that without any trouble. But there's a bunch of fish right here and once it goes to the bottom or hits the bottom which is right there see it's on the bottom I'll lift it up about a foot hold it just hold it there move it just a little and then catch one just 
just like that over and over again. And they're all babies, I know that. Sometimes I can't find big ones. I do a lot of times. Uh, when I'm fishing for crappie, I can be on a big old bunch of fish like this and not even show it. I just focus on trying to find a better fish, but this evening, I'm in one of them modes where I don't care. I'm just out to have fun. And the water depth right here, the average depth of water I'm going to fish is going to be anywhere from 8 to 12 feet deep. But I'm going to let that jig go to the bottom. Because these, these fish are about a foot from the bottom. I'm going to raise it up around a foot and just hold it there. Okay. And just barely move it. I mean, I'm putting action into the jig, but very little. The colder the water, the slower you should fish, and it don't make any difference what species, whether it be a crappie or a bass, I'll just slow down. There's one, that's a crappie. Not a bad one. Come on back. Come on back here, boy. Not a bad one at all. That's a white crappie. Hit a white jig. There we go. <laughs> Let's let him go. So that's what I was talking about. Color. A lot of times when crappie are just halfway active. Crappie don't care what color it is. They have excellent eyesight, folks. Excellent. The times that it matters to me, and, and this is about fact, this is a fact for me, is when the water color changes from the normal color uh, of whatever system that you're fishing in like a big in influx of, like a lot of rain, it changes the color to a dingy color. And that's where I use the high vis colors, gold and white is a good color for muddy water or stained water. Pink, chartreuse, colors like that will keep you catching crappie. They have remarkable eyesight. There we go. There's another crappie. Pretty doggone good one, too. Come on back here. He hit the white grub. I'm going to net this one. And the reason why I got two pound line. Let me get him on out here. I got two pound test line. And I've done caught 50 crappie without retying my knot. My goodness. Where are you going there? That's a pretty fish, ain't he? That's a pretty one. Come on in here. <laughs> That's a nice crappie, to tell you the truth. Yeah, it is. Look at there. Hit that little... That's what I was talking about. Little tiny bays. Ain't that pretty. I'm going to change to a different color right here, and that'll be the fourth color. So we can get on in the discussion about, about colors for crappie. And remember, there's times when it, <laughs> like I said, it matters. But not as much as people. So, I mean, they're just wanting to make a big deal out of it. My goodness, come on. I shad. In bait, little bluegill and stuff like that don't change colors hardly. I mean, they stay basically the same color, a black and silver, or or a little bit of black and green. You know, natural colors like that. Quit. Uh, can't get it. 
see that little old Renowski? I'm going to get one. I've had these forever. They're stiff as a board, and they don't have any action, folks. But, uh, it don't make any difference. They'll catch fish, and that's a little, they're one inch long, I believe they are. So let's try that dude out. There's one. I was going to push off. That's a pretty good one. Mm. What are you doing, boy? I was going to push off this post. Yeah, that fish is fighting. He's got a reason, too. He's a pretty good one. Let's net him. Popping that head, ain't you? Pop, pop, pop. That ain't bad. I ain't even had time to drink my coat. That ain't good. Nice one. That's what I wanted to do is catch a pretty good crappie. That fish is putting a steam on. Let him go. Thank you. All right. I'm going to let it go. Uh, colors. Well, true muddy water colors to me are yellow, orange, red, gold. Those are specific colors I use if the water gets muddy. But other than that, Throw what you have confidence in because more likely it'll work, in my opinion. Uh, I got the shag. I'm starving to death. There's the front moving in. So, yeah, I'm fishing before front, uh, which is normal here in North Alabama. Timing is important, too. But I want to say thank each and every one of y'all. God bless you. And... That was my boot right here. When y'all hear, hear that squeaking sound, it ain't because of being, hey, whoa, I'm talking about. Whoa! And to remember, go fishing when you can, because it's just first.